today is Labor Day, and it's awesome because the Hokies have their first game tonight against Florida State. So we're having, or well, we're not having, we're at a big party for it, and super fun. They have a bunch of kids here, which is like a whole new kind of party as an adult, but oh man, I don't know if we're gonna win, but uh, I'm excited. Luke, you making friends? Yeah. That's how, and that really does help. Say hi, Dad. Dad. When they look really hi, Dad. Dad. I'm blind. <laughs> is an exciting day. One, because we just published our video for today about whether or not Thanos killed himself with the snap, which I thought was a really fun video. But even more exciting than that is that in the state of Virginia, you have to get your car inspected annually to like make sure all like the brake lights and stuff are functioning. And I guess it's all about safety. But, uh, and they put a little sticker on your windshield. I had missed the inspection. It was expired in March and I only realized it like two weeks ago because I just don't think about it and I successfully did not get pulled over at all and it is now September and I just got it inspected and I was like it's one of those things as soon as you're aware of it you're like oh, I'm so I'm so gonna get pulled over but I didn't made it survived <laughs> We are doing yet another Infinity War video because they are very popular and we're having so much fun with it. This is also like my favorite movie right now, so it's gonna be good. Give me the Ben Carlin philosophy of ordering Indian food. Honestly, I am like the absolute worst. So like I will tell people that I love Indian, but what that really means is that I love chicken tikka masala. Just the most basic thing. <laughs> it's like the general so's of Indian I, I, yeah, food. Like, I love Chinese food. General so's chicken. General so's chicken. <laughs> I like one dish. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it becomes one of these things where it's like, I like it so much that I'm not even willing to like deviate because I would hate missing out on the opportunity to have one of my favorite things. What's your spice level? As hot as they will do it. And they will always look at me and they'll be like, you want like a three? And I'm like, I want a five. I want whatever the hottest you will do. If you need me to sign a waiver, I'll sign the waiver. But like, they never do it. Okay. So, I have a funny homeowner story I want to tell you guys right now because only in the last five minutes have I decided it is no longer embarrassing and has officially become worth telling. But for a long time, I was like so ashamed. Here, where you guys just were, is my fridge, which first of all, how adorable are these photos of me and Beth? And also, how annoying is it that they misspelled solemnly on this photo? Now, if you're a longtime viewer of the vlog, you'll note that we've had weird amounts of fridge trouble, like in terms of keeping uh, Luke's breast milk safe and we've transported it all over the place. There was a flash flood once upon a time. But some three odd years ago, before we had a child, after we just moved in, we had a problem with this fridge. I went to open it like this, yes, and it was dark on the inside, which is the exact same thing that just happened to me now. Had to go get Luke, he was fussing because I was talking about before he was born, sorry about that. The problem with not having your glasses on is that it's difficult to tell from a distance if you're in focus, but I think we're good. So I open the fridge door, everything's dark. My first thought is, oh no, the power's out. But then I look around and realize, oh wait, all the lights are on. So I go to shut it, reopen it, just like maybe I'm hitting the switch, maybe some food is leaning on it or something. Like, does the light bulb just need to be changed I get halfway through closing it the light comes on I'm like oh so I open it again turns off again I'm like what what is and it's like this weird the it like pattern of like if you put the door in just the right spot you could get it on but otherwise it was going off and I could not figure it out it was like there there has to be something that's being pressed but what? There's a number on the side of the fridge. I'll call them and maybe they'll give me a repair person or can like troubleshoot it for me. Sure enough, they schedule someone to come out and I'm like, you know, come home and meet the guy. And he shows up right on time and he just walks the fridge out, plugs it in and charges me $80. And I was like, oh, like seriously, it was unplugged. How does that even happen? Like the only thing between it and the wall and it's heavy is the plug. It's holding it in place. How could that be the reason? One of the most embarrassing moments of my life, like hired someone to come here, plugged it in. Ugh, ugh. Whatever, Luke. The point is, sometimes even an embarrassing moment can teach you how to deal with the situation and possibly even help you 
assess different situations that are on your house. So I don't know. Do you have any funny, embarrassing homeowner stories you'd like to share in the comments? I would love to read them so I don't feel so stupid, but thanks. Luke and I are on our way to physical therapy. We go every week, so I thought I would show you what we do. <laughs> been in the decluttering mindset told you guys I was reading simplified life that book and today I am going to tackle my email inbox declutter unsubscribe to like a million things let's do it shoe mall like I have no idea how I even got on shoe mall.com I'll see now this is one I have to type in my address to get it to unsubscribe like you know my address you're sending me the emails. Allow one week to process. Sometimes, like, you can't stop sending me emails today. Just unsubscribed from like probably 50 to 70 um, lists that I get like every day. Luke and I are sitting down to lunch. Here's an example of um, what we're doing for his meals. Like I have a salad here, some vegetables and leftover chicken on it. So for him, I've given him a piece of lettuce chicken, some bell peppers, some mushrooms, some tomatoes, little pieces of feta, and I put a lime in my sparkling water, so I thought I'd try giving him a lime today and see what he thinks about. First game of the season, Woo. sort of. First yeah. home game of the season. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it is. I already started the generator this morning. In case people <laughs> remember from last year where I ripped it like 12,000 times, it fired right up. It was no problem. I just turned it upside down, like Jay said. Okay. Yeah. Oh, geez. yeah. yeah. Luke's first tech game. Are you having fun? I know. Yeah. Look at this. Go Hokies. Ross, bring me up to see and what's happening. So, we found out the gender of our child uh, this week. So do we think it's a girl? Or do we think it's a boy? We're about to do a gender reveal. You do? We'll see. When we're looking around, everyone right. shows their place. So, hat. That's what do you think? Oh, I'm going blue plate and <laughs> pink cupcake. Luke is trying to get in on the action. Where are you at? I'm I am team girl all the way. Team I got a gut feeling. So the way it'll work is once we bite into the cupcake, we'll know whether or not we have boy or girl. Hey! I'm a girl. Hey! 